Darren, that video released just over an hour ago shows the dramatic moments that rabbi was ordered to the ground. It came after he allegedly led a trooper on a chase during the early morning of August 8th on I-91 in Fairley. <laughs> Well, state police say Trooper Justin Thompson initiated the stop for speeding, alleging the rabbi was going 83 in a 65. But as the video released today appears to show, driver Rabbi Burl Fink of Brooklyn, New York, failed to stop despite emergency lights and sirens. The pursuit lasts for nearly five minutes on the video, and police say it totaled more than four miles. The rabbi eventually pulls over, and that's when he's ordered to the ground with the trooper's gun drawn. How many people are in the car? Get on the ground right now. Get on the ground. Get on that ground. Get on the ground. And stay in the car. Stay in the car. Get on the ground with your hands out. Hands out. Stay there. I didn't do anything. I said stay there. The dash cam video also shows other people in the car being ordered out and restrained. According to the rabbi's wife, her son was also put into handcuffs. She spoke out to the New York Post about the stop, calling it, quote, traumatizing. Now, following her other claims in that story of brutality and a threat to sue in the Post story, an internal investigation was launched. A statement released with the 30-minute video today. According to the Vermont State Police, they say the trooper followed policy and procedure, stating he could not have known the driver's intentions at the time. VSP also says there is no evidence that the trooper's actions were based on any type of bias or profiling. The rabbi is due in court for a charge of attempting to elude next month. Kristen? Wow, Tyler Dumont, thank you very much.